21 people in this building that God said will give a thousand dollars. She finally landed. There's business plans that y'all got. It ain't going through wow. until you make that sacrifice to God. Blessings, blessings to you guys. Blessings. We have something that we want to share with you guys. Yes. A lot of this issue has been going on all the time in the body of Christ. And a lot of worldly people are seeing the body of Christ like a business because of people like this. Mm. One either. Final. Final. What is this? A lot of people are wondering, are these people really having church or are they really into auction? Let's mm -hmm. watch this, baby. Yes, so I'm ready to watch it. Sit down. This next point is... It's powerful. Sit down. This, Sit this. down. I got to say this. Yo, pay attention. I got to say this. Pay attention. I got to say this. Touch your neighbor and say, touch your neighbor and say, my life, my life is changing right now. Touch your neighbor and say, my life is changing. The traits. The traits. The traits. Now, I know this going to be difficult for some of y'all. Cause you just got out the bed with that neighbor last night. So just go ahead and say, I'm sorry, I want you to forgive me because I didn't come down here to be a whore. I didn't come down here to get with you. I came down here because God was gonna do something in my life. So forgive me right now. I know we done messed up, but I'm telling you right now, I'm listen, listen, listen. My life gonna change. My life gonna change. I want God to come after every perverted devil. I want God to come after every sickness. Whenever you see them doing this, calling for altar call, calling for repentance, they want people's mind to be cleared. Mm. It's a trap. They, they want you to feel like, okay, God has forgiven me. God is, God is going to just hear my cry right now. It's a trick. Every one of them will start with uh, feeling the power of God. Sha 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 ba ba ba. She know what they like. The, she, yeah. Everybody know that they know what the black church want. Yeah. They know they want this hype up. I mean, she she know what to come in there and do. She know how to amp the crowd up. She know what she's doing. <laughs> she's been doing it for years. For years. And at this point, we can no longer blame Juanita buying them, right? Because what are y'all doing in there? When are y'all gonna wake up? When are y'all going to read the Bible? When the Bible tells you that there will be false prophets. Who do y'all think he was talking about? No, they, they Who do y'all think? <laughs> These people act like there is no false prophets in the world when God specifically states it several times in the word of God. Now, at some point, y'all need to know that you are off of milk and off of diapers. God is not going to just come and be like, okay, these are the false prophets. Mm -mm. You need to point them out. He will use servants of God to point it out. Yeah. But at some point, you need to know for yourself. You need to have discernment. You need to read the word of God for yourself so you can um, see who is not preaching right, yeah. who is leading you in the wrong path, and who is convincing you in the wrong way. I don't get it. At some point, you have to say to yourself, I need to wake up. Myself need to wake up. Yeah. I don't understand how y'all allow some of these false prophets, these prophets out here, and I hear the Lord say that right now, there's going to be fa it's false prophets in this world right now, has convinced some women to have sex with them wow. because the Holy Ghost told them to. And women who don't read the word of God and who do not have discernment is going to sleep with these men of God because the Lord told them to do it, which is a lie. It's me. They can't hardly pay the mortgage and forget about the mortgage. Those that are renting can't hardly pay the rent because you spend all your money in the mall and then you come to church and want to get something from a consecrated pastor who ain't had time to consecrate because he having a nervous breakdown. That's why they put Because of you! Why don't your pastor have power? Because of you! Because 
Wow. Wow. This is uh, this is so oh my goodness. This is me. manipulation. This is gaslighting and this is a lie. So the people in the congregation <laughs> I would have stood up and left, but no, you sit, you sit there again because because you feel that this is an anointed prophet of God. So you feel, you really feel yeah. like God is speaking through her, y'all. I know they they be feeling it. They'll and when be... I say y'all, I'm talking to the people who love this woman. Okay. And the, the sad part is they still pay uh, uh, VIP section and sixty uh, percent off to go to this stuff. Yeah, I heard she she did a discount, right? Yeah, she's yeah, all of them are doing discount now. Just in case you didn't understand what she's saying, she's blaming the church, the people in the church, for having uh, their pastor to to be depressed and putting guns in their mouth and shooting themselves because of uh, because people they depressed yeah. because they not giving not because giving. they can't uh, pay the light bill and the mortgage bill. Deception. Did y'all hear that? Because you rather go uh, to the to to the mall and shop with your with your hard working money. Yeah, you work right. We work right, but she clowning you for going to the mall to put some clothes on your back, and she's telling you. That the the pastor is weak because of you. Deception. A full mindset of preaching. Why is this woman still being honored in the body of Christ to the today? I don't understand it, y'all. Because it's like a business now. So all these mega preachers are people that invite her and other people that raise money. It's business. Do you know how much she's going to raise? And we're still getting there. But I, this is my thing is, pastors, if you cannot own your own um, uh, mortgage, if you can't pay your own mortgage, if you can't pay for your own light bill, okay, before you start this ministry, you, you, you need to step back, okay? Because stuff like this happened. Now you have gotten to the point where now you need to tell the members what to do. Yeah. You need to uh, kiss the members, but you can't uh, preach sound word no um you, you convincing people you need to get a job like everybody else everybody, that's in your congregation yeah. and when people give freely that's when you can quit your job but you should not manipulate people to give into your yeah. ministry yeah everybody you know. knows that the church the church needs to be paid for. Everybody the lights need to be on. But it's not the church's fault. You need a pastor needs to pray and say, Lord, I need you. I need you, Lord God, to help to help me with these bills. That's not, what you need to do. Not, not scamming people. You, you need to have faith in ready. God. You but, need to yeah. pray. Not just getting ready to scam people, lie, preparing scriptures like all these people. This is wickedness i call it wickedness it is wicked i can't believe she did that the minute you say so to god let me see if god wants me to do this let me see what the lord is saying you walk in Neiman's and see a blouse girl this thing is bad i got to have it but the bible said that it did not break until the people started giving see the people think it's just prayer that's gonna get me my breakthrough mm -mm, mm -mm. there was no oil in the temple so the priest couldn't see how to worship God it, it, it didn't say so the priest could see how to pray for the people it says so the priest could see how to worship because it's in the worship of your pastor that brings about results to you I'm not, I, I'm not hearing nobody talk to me I'm not hearing nobody talk what she say? Oh, these people are so, uh, like I, I just like can people really pay attention to what the, what is really coming out from their mouth is before she? they start screaming? Some of y'all in this building. So let me guess, she probably finna start asking for money. Yeah, she, she says some of you. I'm telling you, y'all, she she got, she whooped their butts. 
We yeah, enticing war. She whipped them, y'all, and was like, mm-hmm. "Y'all doing this wrong. Y'all don't give good enough. This is mm-hmm. what you need to do." So now she have made people feel guilty. Yeah, and now she finna ask for big money. And then guess what? You gonna go home, and in a couple of months, you gonna be kicked out your apartment. You want to be big, but little got you. Some of y'all in this building, you want to be somebody. But the only proof that we got that you might be somebody is what you got on. Because nothing in you speaks of power. The Bible said in the book of Joel that powerful and strong are they that execute the word of God. Those that know how to execute the word of God are the ones that are strong and powerful. Those that are able to do what it says. Every door soon who will hear about in the next 30 days that have happened for me it's because I turn my heart back to the house of God I don't spend more in the mall than I give in the church y'all I'm not hearing y'all talk to me I'm- y'all <laughs> she was doing so good right there and, uh, and then she dropped the ball they have to drop it like they just have you to know, they, that's what they do, y'all. They mix it up. Like they be sounding so good, and then like me with my discernment, I can pick the wrongs of what she is teaching here because I read the Word of God. She could be. She was doing. I mean, Juanita could be a true, powerful woman of God if she would just do right by God. Stop scamming people. But she is people. nothing. Stop with, lying to people. Stop deceiving people. She's deceiving. This is just to, she's just watering uh, uh, sand, grass. The bad preparing. thing is that God is going to blame her and he's going to blame the people who believes her. That's the point that a lot of people don't get. When you get judged, when God judges you, you're going to keep blaming Juanita Bynum, but God is going to say, Look, I gave you the word of God. There's no excuse here. I wish I had somebody to say something up in here. Because I want to be sure that when I call on the name of the Lord, that he sees me as a servant and not a harlot. That he sees me as somebody honorable and not a hustler. You are a hustler. In this building right now. (laughs) She's so emotional. Look at her, y'all. You got people in this building. That God has blessed you. You got people in this building. And I'm not just talking about older people. I'm talking about young adults. That's got finances. Mm-hmm. Here she go. And you think, put your phone down. And you- They don't like when people record them. Because uh, <laughs> they know. Like, if I'm in there, um, my phone will be ready. So she gonna tell them to put their phone down. Yeah, because it's money. This the money. So, the money know, area. Because this can go to some somewhere and will be exposed. She know. Put the phone down. You think that God is gonna use you? But first of all, the Bible said in the Book of Deuteronomy, okay. He called you to be a financier of the kingdom. He called you to finance the kingdom. Don't be disobedient. I said, put your phone down. I'm not a star. Don't be taking no pictures of me. He called you. To be the person that would say, Lord, I will. seen miracles I'm not supposed to be standing here 
I wasn't supposed to be standing back on Bishop Jakes' platform. But I sold. <laughs> I showed God. I'm more passionate now than I ever can. And you in this building. And this is the danger of this church because you are penny any church. You think because you get twenty dollars, you're doing something. Mm. Okay. You think because you get five dollars, you're doing something. Mm. If somebody were to say right now, there's a trip that you can take that'll take you all over the world for three thousand dollars, and you will be gone for thirty days, you would rob everybody to get it. <laughs> Let me tell you something. I'm gonna wow. tell you something, y'all. The pastor has talked to Juanita Bynum mm -hmm. and he is complaining about all y'all members in that church. Yeah. He has complained. The first lady complained. Now, this is my opinion. And she is getting on to them, whipping them. Before you invite the pastor, you you have a conversation. Yeah. You know, they tell you, okay, this, this is our budget. This is what we want. This is how mm -hmm. much... You know, not we, all churches, but he, you know what he yeah, means. Yeah. yeah, like all this. Uh, if you invite uh, one of the Barino, uh, Brian Kern, all these uh, prosperity preachers, that you know, you have to, you need to have conversation. He's a, he's a, he's a must. I've been in the church, I know it all days. So, this is how much we need. This is how much we need to raise. Yep. And my church is you not know, the, the, the hardly give so that the pastor will, will prepare. With fake prophecies, all these they have to prepare. They have to grab names. They have to grab all these addresses so that they will be authentic. Yeah, that's why you see all this uh, prophet. Have I met you before? Have you seen me before? Have I talked to you on the phone? Have you ever seen me? Mm -hmm. they, they 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 know all this information. So that's why they have to ask these questions to make it seems real. Mm -hmm. But they don't know that it is getting old. It's getting old. Just do what you want to do. Uh, scam what you how you want to scam and move on. But they have to do the things that the devil has really placed them to do. Mm -hmm. But the five dollar day is over because he's called you to be a financier. Because you can't say to God, "When I become a millionaire, I'll give it." Because the Lord is saying, show me right now. Because I don't care if you got a million dollars, he's going to ask you for 900000 so you're going to still be on the short end of the scale. There are 21 people in this building. Give me them handkerchiefs. 21 people, y'all. I have some handkerchiefs in my, in my bag that's been on my prayer room for one year. Ooh. It's been on the floor in my <laughs> prayer room for one year. Bed on this table. And God said... This generation, the people that are in this building, mm. he's taken us to another level. Say it, hurry up. Who is he talking to? Who is he talking to? Preachers in this building. Solomon said, when I got through sowing my 1,000 burnt offerings, the Spirit of the Lord asked me, what do you want me to do for you? We got to get on that side of it. Yes, yes, yes. Not the side where we always asking God. Yes, yes, yes. But we got to get on the side where God asks us. That is not broke. And that's another level of sacrifice. There's 21 people in this building that God said we'll give $1,000. She finally landed. Yep. It took her a long time. And I... I I pray, I know that this video is already made, but I pray that the people who's giving this thousand dollars is not using their bill money yeah. to pay this offering. Because the sad part is they have really brown water. Like you see all that all this preaching, all this uh hyping up and all that is a brainwashing uh, formula for witchcraft. Mm -hmm. So you have to use that so that you will buy the mind of people. Yeah. They will fail. You know, she so, so many times that she acted like she was crying and all that. This is how you, you get people in line with what you are saying.
when are they going to stop all this? When I know, I know. they are not ready because people are falling for it. But I'm going to give you this handkerchief out of my prayer room. What is the handkerchief? And if your breakthrough don't come, you can call me. Babe, I'm sorry. She always talking about her prayer room. She always talking about her prayer closet. And she always talking about her prayer shawls. Okay. This is the thing why I need to buy them. You know, um, it you coming off like your prayers is the only one in the world that get answered. You just said that you're not a star. I know that already. Yeah. You need to know that you're not God. Okay. You don't have to have a title, everyone, to pray in the Holy Ghost. Mm. To pray with power and authority. You don't need to go to Juanita Bynum to say, can you go in your prayer closet to pray for me? It's so good for other Christians to pray for one another. It's so good. It feels so good, right? I get it. We all need to pray for one another. It's awesome. I think that we need to do that more. Amen. But Juanita Bynum, the way she's acting as if like, um, when I go in my prayer closet, um, your prayers was, that's why this is the way it's coming off to me. That's and she's exactly always, always act like this. Like her prayers are the only one getting answered. And I need this amount of money. Uh, uh, to build my prayer closet so I can pray. Girl, you can go on the side of your bed. You can go into your own look like where the rest of your clothes and shoes at. You can pray in the bathroom. You can pray wherever you want to pray. You can pray and pray in the closet. You don't need this fancy area for God to just answer your prayers. If you a- live a holy life yeah. and you honor the Lord, give him attention God will answer your prayers if you believe. She said, uh, after 30 days, if your prayers are not being answered, called. How many, so if they will call, they will, uh, she will answer? Sure. Do you know how many people that are willing and ready to confront these pastors, these preachers? Do you know how many? But they are afraid, touch not anointed. Even me, I remember when I gave all my business money, I was so close to confront the pastor, but I couldn't do it. I was scared of people. Mm. But they will brainwash people. Hey, hey, hey. It's going to happen right away. It's just because then if you call, they will tell you because you don't have faith. The the church is, these churches and these are uh, ministers are teaching that if you give a certain amount of money, God will bless you. When they didn't, well, they're not teaching. They haven't taught people right in a long time. So now we have a lot of weak Christians who are now just waking up Mm -hmm. and saying, wow, you know, the reason why I'm being hindered so much from my prayers is because I'm listening to a person like this. Yeah. Yeah. People like this will cripple you in the spirit, in the spirit. The way is perceiving, the way it's coming off to me is that like these people are kind of saying Hey, uh, you can do you can live the life you want to live. You, but if you give, God will bless you. No, it don't work like that. It don't. Because mm. I know what I'm talking about. He said there has to be a divine shift in this building this year. Wow. So God's prophesying. There okay. There has to be a divine shift. You're the next generation. You're the next church. Please don't scare me. The next church. How many churches she have told this to people? This is what the church is going to look like 10 years from now. Don't scare me. Well, she just lied. The $1,000. Don't scare me. Go home and you take yourself on a fast. You go home and you get in prayer. You go back to your room and stop all this foolishness. You go back and get in the presence of God and say, Lord, you dropped a mantle in this building today. You're calling me to carry a torch to the next generation. Don't let me. You see how she be doing so good, but then y'all know it's about money. It's all the money. She, basically, she's saying you are in trouble because you're not giving to the church. Man, if she could have just said, stop the uh, uh, fornication, stop the adultery. Stop the jealousy spirit. Stop it. Stop the homosexuality. And go into your prayer closet and get into the word of the Lord. 
Like I would have, like I would been like, that's what I'm talking yeah. about, sis. Yeah. It's it's all it's about money, y'all. So she it already irritates said the me. trap. She already said the trap. <laughs> Twenty one people. Uh, with 1,000. So she already set the trap, right? Now mm -hmm. she have to get use all this. It's going to happen a year from now. It's got, I feel it. I know God is speaking. You all, you all see that? I know, I know, I feel it. So getting your, how are you going to sow this seed and you still go pray? What are you praying for? People need to think. When a pastor asks you to sow a seed for breakthrough, why are you still praying? Why, why, why do you still need a shot? Right. And a handkerchief and anointing oil. Why? After you have bribed God. So you need to go and take back your money from God. Mm. Let me be one that fumbled the ball. Kuriandere de Bohusha. He said, 21 people in this building, come now wherever you are. Give me an envelope. Give me some envelopes. She's still. He said, 21 people, come now wherever you are. He talking to you in this building. A thousand dollars ain't nothing. A thousand dollars ain't nothing in comparison to what God's gonna do. I didn't call for buckets yet, y'all. It ain't nothing. There's plans that you have that ain't going through until you make that sacrifice to the Lord. Wow. And I bet she's making people feel so guilty. Yeah, that, uh, do you hear what she said? That plan that you, you're making will not go through until you, you do this to God. She just put witchcraft on them and people, people and don't people, know. People don't know. This is all witchcraft. This is all pure manipulation. This is bewitchment so she is just, real. They, basically, she done put fear in these people. She done manipulate these people and she also put witchcraft on them. Now God is taking bribe. So, so now, it, so whatever plans that you have, like for, for, for an example, if you wanted to use this thousand dollars to open up a business or to put more products in your business, she want you to stop your plans for the family that you need to feed. She has stop your plans and put a curse on it because if you don't give this thousand dollars, God is not gonna bless you. That's what she just said. That's exactly she what said she it said. She said it out of her own mouth. Stand right here, young man. There's business plans that y'all got. It ain't going through wow. until you make that sacrifice to God. There's business plans that y'all got. It ain't going through wow. until you make that sacrifice to God. What is this? This woman is. What this is woman. this? The pastor of the church should have said, you know what? Get up out of here and we're going to counsel this spirit right what now. Is this? But no. Yeah, she is just a, a, a human. Why She's just a you? human. She is not God. She needed to be rebuked. Men and women of God, stand up. Why will you believe that? Uh, that uh, why? Look at that man. That man is he can't. If she got one person. I feel. I just. I just. Lord, help us, Father. Think help one us, person, Father. right? Well, one came up. So the one that we see, and I'm over here like, yeah, you, you, you basically forced him to come up there. I hope uh, all the 21 people will come up. If not. She, oh, she will find a way. She will find a way. But she I've been to a, one of her conferences before. She said, uh, she said 21 people for 1,000. So if she, if, they, if they are not, and this is what God told her, right? She had dropped the price. So, yeah. Then if it's not 21 people, that shows you that it wasn't God speaking. Because God you, but will But nobody know pays attention to people that. People don't pay attention to that. There's promotions that you want. You're not going to get it until you make that sacrifice to God. Wow. What is? Because enough. Because people are not moving fast enough. So she gonna put. She boy, I tell you. I tell you what, y'all. I can't believe. Oh. Line up right here. I know what I'm talking about. Three. I know what I'm talking about. Line up right here. I know what I'm talking about. She ready. The Lord said you better come. I'm just a messenger. How he did said she it's sleep at you night? Sitting here. You put everything else on your credit card. How do? People like this sleep in the night. How? How? With your conscience clean. How? How can you sleep at night, Juanita Bonham? How? And the rest of you other false prophets who do this. This is ridiculous. 
I don't care what vending machine you told you was coming back. What vending table you not today? Cause she know that she know that people it's who got she know that people who got this amount of money are most likely business owners. Yeah. Talking about if you're trying to get a vending machine, it's not gonna work out. I'm like, wow. Witchcraft. Pure witchcraft. Pure 100% witchcraft. This woman is so evil. Mm. So, so evil. No heart at all. Not at all. God want to open doors for you. He don't want you to rent. He wants you to own your own building. But you got to make that sacrifice. But, but, but you see, you, you, you contradicting yourself, sis. You contradicting yourself. So you just said that God will bless you to own that place and, and stop renting, right? Mm -hmm. But the church that that she's in, or other churches that she's in, is renting as well, renting their buildings. So you're not making sense. You you just told everybody that it's their fault that the church ain't paid off. Yeah. I mean, I'm saying it in my own words. Yeah. That the mortgage ain't being paid. You said it in your own words. You don't own nothing until your building is paid off. Yeah. You don't own your home until it's completely paid off. Mortgage or not mortgage. So basically you're saying that all these churches that you're going to that are paying mortgages is, is God hasn't blessed them. But you, you, you expect the business owners, but you don't expect the church. Mm. You are a manipulator. In the high, high, in the highest level. Man, who is he talking to? Who is he talking to? Older and younger. There's doors that you won't open. There's some people sitting in this church that's been praying for things for your church. You're the one that's called to make this sacrifice for your church. Come now. I know you're in here because the prophecy don't lie. The spirit of the Lord 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 don't lie. He's not a lying spirit. Oh, wow. You the one making accusing God on, on this hour. You the one uh, 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 putting God in this. He just she just speaking a whole bunch of words that's coming from her flesh, and God allows stuff like this to happen to see what people are going to do. My people and he, perish. And he sits on the throne. He laughing at this. Yeah. He laughing at this. He's looking at y'all, saying, "Look at them. They mm. really believe this woman." People perish, man. They really believe her. Mm. He said 21 people in here. If God wasn't talking, nobody would have moved. He said 21 people in this building. That's what he means. He said 21 people in this building. How do I know God is talking to me? Because you got it. That's how I know God is talking to you. Because it's in your account right now. Because it's on your credit card right now. That's how I know God is talking to you. Wow. Wow. This credit card. Oh, people, please wake up. Church folks, wake up. Global members, wake up. Do, 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 do not ever borrow money to, do this. to pay a church. Y'all hear what I'm saying? If you are a member of a church or you're visiting a, a conference, please do not go and get a loan from a church. I mean, do not go and get a loan from a, a, a bank just to pay a church. Because this woman has, these people Lied have put fear you. in you. Mm. And I, I, I even have uh, Ben Hain. I got his video. He's still doing it. He's still manipulating people. Well, I ain't never gave that before. You know what? In order to get something you ain't never had, you got to do something you ain't never did. Who is God preaching to? Who is God preaching to? Well, how do I know God is talking to me? How do I know God is talking to me, Dr. Bynum? Because the devil should be talking to you too. The devil should be telling you why you shouldn't do it. The devil should be giving you excuses as to why you shouldn't give that kind of money. But the devil will never give you that excuse when it's time for a down payment for a car. He don't never give you that excuse when it's time for you to put a down payment on a house. He only does it when it's time for you to get a breakthrough for your life. These people are very wicked. You see, people like this are very dangerous and wicked. Very dangerous and wicked. 
Do you all hear all she said? How do that connect to giving to God? How do that connect? You, so you give all this to the church and you live, you live in your car. Or you don't even have any, anywhere to sleep. Is that how God wants Christians to live? So this is the, the, the proof and evidence that, that, that God wants us to live like this? I always ask people, Chinese people, how many churches do they sow in their hand? Mm -hmm. Dubai people, all this rich country, how many? That, 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 that don't even, they are not even Christians, but they are so rich mm -hmm. and wealthy in their country. How many places or where did they sow the seed Christians so called Christians wake up from this I called and you answered I'm the messenger I'm the messenger no you God I'm the messenger no just say you God period you don't you're need to be yeah That's no, no, stop, don't say that I need some offer the envelopes do you have any they don't have any I'm the messenger well, I guess she got all her people, y'all. I got to lay my hands on y'all. I'm sorry. I didn't want to. I just thought I was going to give you the handkerchief, but I just saw it. I got to lay my hands on you. Come right there, baby. Come. So she she's not going to give the handkerchief no more? She know what she's doing. Wow. That's what I was just saying. She's just making excuses. I would love for those who um, that see through the spirit. What do Juanita Bottom look like to y'all? Let us know in the comment section. Yeah. But it's very scary looking. Every person in this building that's got a hundred dollar seed anywhere on you, stand up with it in your hand right now. God changed her, his mind. <laughs> God already dropped from one thousand to hundred. Yeah, she's getting to the little people who don't have a thousand. She know what she's doing. I'm surprised that she didn't drop to five hundred. I know. Yeah, well, that's I, what she usually would do. I mean, I've seen her in person, like I said. So yeah. nobody can't say nothing to me. I seen. I I went to her conference in person before. She know how to drop it, and people will come and rush and and come up too. Okay, now hundred hundred dollars. Okay, let's see. Every person in here, I'm telling you, this is your sacrifice. Be obedient. I'm just a messenger. There's some breakthroughs God give me to give your life. Every person in this building. How many times and how many years are we going to keep on listening to breakthrough, breakthrough, breakthrough from these people? Lies and deception. Lies and deception. And a lot of uh, Christians are still going through what they're going through this day because of this belief. Because of all this Lifting of faith. Faith without work is dead. I don't care how many knowledge, wisdom, and understanding that you have without work. Without work, you cannot do nothing. That's got a hundred dollars anywhere on your person. Stand up. Stand up. God is talking to you. He's talking to you. Come on. Stand up. Every person, every person, somebody said it's my last, no it isn't, it's your beginning. And before you leave out of this conference, God gonna put it back in your hands. No, that's the way that works. You don't get because you get nothing. You get when you give. Every person, stand now. Stand now. They all feel so guilty, the one who don't have it. Stand yeah, that's because that's I've been there before. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, that, that, yeah. babe, that's exactly it what it is. It hurts your feelings, like you see yourself, like, I'm like not good enough. yeah, mm -hmm. like God has really abandoned me. Yeah. So all these people have this morning coming out. And look at me. They're gonna be blessed, and, and, and I will be stuck here. Yeah. I've been there, man. Now, every person in here that has a fifty dollar seed on you, stand now. Okay, now she stand dropped, now. She every dropped. person that has a fifty dollar seed on you. She'll drop mm -hmm. it to 50. She will. And she gonna still drop some, it, she'll drop it to 20. She'll drop it to pennies. There's some people that still don't have the 50. Yeah, still don't. Because she know. She know that. Uh, she know what she's doing. She's been doing this for so many years. Yeah. And it's working for her. It's, it's, work, it's working for a that. lot of... I so very soon now, she's going to repent. 
act like uh, Cliff Lodora, then move in another dim- dimension. He'll do something. That's how they do. Mm-hmm. Uh, Benahin repented and moved in another dimension, mm-hmm. still scamming. Uh, uh, Cliff Lodora moved in another, still scamming. All, yep. every one of them. Yep. Their repentance, still scamming. It's so bad. You, stand up, because God is talking to you. Stand up. It's your sacrifice. He's talking to you. Now, the ones with the $1,000 should be embarrassed. They're still standing there. Yeah. You know why? Because... The same fake anointing that that uh, that she's gonna breakthrough. give them for the thousand dollars is the same she, is the same anointing for the fifty dollars. Fake breakthrough. Like you know what I'm saying? Everybody that's remaining, get the biggest seed you can in your hand. Wow. I don't care if it's twenty. I don't care if it's seven. I don't care if it's ten. Get the biggest seed you can and stand up on your feet. <laughs> that. Yep. <laughs> Exactly uh, what she does, y'all. I don't blame the worldly people when they see stuff like this. They say this is business. Do y'all know how much she just made? Oh yeah, she made a lot. Do y'all know how much these people make right away? I'm not. I'm not jealous of that because that's oh. that's a wicked money. Absolutely. If I want to scam, man, I will real do do the real scam. But this is deception. I will never use the name of Christ mm. to take money from anyone. I would rather get three jobs. I will get three jobs. I'm a truck driver. I will, I will do Uber. I will do another one just to make sure that my family is good. I will never scam. I will never, God forbid. Mm. This is pure scam. A lot yeah, she's of scamming. Them, a lot of them. This is what they do. And they will tell you, I don't feel guilty about it. That shows that it's not a sin. Because your you are, you are heart has been turned to devil, turned into demon, so you cannot feel it. What hurts, what hurts me the most is that, you know, Juanita Bottom don't have a heart. Um, she don't care about no one in that congregation. Zero. Because a lot of these people who are giving up their $100, it could have been their last. And, you know... She manipulated them to uh, feel like if I didn't give this money, God and I gonna bless me. Yeah. And people is already starving, yeah. you know, with the little money that they have. You know what I mean? Mm. It's so sad. A lot of people give to the point that they don't, they don't even know how they are gonna go back home. Go back home. In these I've churches, done, I've done it. I've given all my money and I borrowed money to go home. Yeah. So many times, babe. I believe it. I believe it. Now, now hurt, I'm hurtful. looking back. I'm like, wow. Yeah. Wow. I mean, we, listen, we all been there. You know, we're not gonna uh, call any of these people dumb. You know what I'm saying? Because we've been there. We want people to wake up. We're talking about members. Yeah. All this. We was members. Mm-hmm. We will be. We was victims. Yeah. We give give, give everything. Yes. And I always got to do a disclaimer because what, what people do is, you know, they listen to all of this. And I and I know in our heart of hearts, we ain't saying nothing wrong. But some people have, you know, so selective hearing and they, they want to believe what they want to believe. Because they love their papa and mama. Yeah. And we got to make a disclaimer here. Look, it's good to, to give. If you are going to a... a a church where the pastor and wife is living a saved life and, and they're helping uh, the poor, the sick and the hungry. They, they're helping the widows. They helping uh, encourage you. They helping to, to, to tell, they, they tell the truth, um, according to the word of the Lord. And, and, you know, uh, you see good in them. Yeah. It's, it's all good. Give to ministries. Good ground. Yeah, give to a good ground. Give to ministries. Yeah. Pay your tithes. Pay your offering. Okay, because it do cost money. Yeah, it do. And um, some some pastors can't work because they they are too busy. And you are helping them, you know. Um, but do not worship them. Yeah. Um, giving good ground. Um, the pastors need to have faith in the Lord. Yeah. When you got three members and you can't pay. Your bills in your church, what do you need to do? You need to pray and say, Lord God, send a ram. Yeah. 
send a miracle. Yeah. I need I need your help, Lord God. Bless the members of the church yeah. so that they can remember me. Yeah. Like do something. Remember, you can pray as well. Yeah. Okay. Now, I, I it's just like we got to have wisdom on how we give. That's you know, it, it is a lot of people who do not want to give when they're in a good church, you know, but God will deal with them because I, I really, me and my husband is very okay with pastors that preach the true word of God. They preach against sin. They preach against um, uh, what they need to preach against. They need to, you know, they basically, they preach in the old Testament and new Testament, you know? Um, so it's very okay to preach about giving. Okay. Especially if, uh, you know, he's the pastor of the church and the pastor wife and, and, uh, you know, they getting into the nitty of the gritty, right. You know, so yeah, a pastor, he's going to teach about money. He's going to yeah. teach about giving. Okay. Because that is a, in the word of God. Um, but we are trying to highlight the, the, what's it called? The manipulation of it all. The yeah, way she's the doing it is wrong. It. Yeah. Deceiving, the prophesying. The prophesying and, and saying, I want to give you, I'm not going to prophesy until you give me this amount of money. And we are, God is against VIP section in the church. God is against um, paying deposits um, to go to a conference, paying uh, deposits um, to get deliverance, charging for conferences charging for deliverances it's what, wrong it's ridiculous it's wrong so this is what we want to share with you guys Absolutely. we constantly will be calling all this ever out <laughs> we're not going nowhere a lot of them out there the reason why we pick all these people so that if you see a little church on the on the side doing this mm -hmm. call them out it's not of god it's not of god like all my wife said give willingly Always be eager to support genuine ministries, Please. ministers. We do. We give to ministers. We give. We help. You know, and if God bless you, awesome. If God don't bless you, keep moving on. You know, you are just doing it. You're not doing all this for God to give you billions. Mm -hmm. You know, live your life. And I know a lot of with God. a lot of pastors and pastor wives are probably watching this video and be like, "Well, Henry and Monique don't understand because they do internet ministry. We do conferences, yeah, and and we pay for that. And we don't do music because we know that people, uh, musicians and singers, are charging now to to do worship service. Yeah, you we know? have our speakers. We, you know, we bring our speakers yeah. and play our music. Exactly, and we have done conferences where people didn't give to us at all. Yeah, we do know that it's people like that out there, but we can't get frustrated with them. No, the the thing is, you got to have a heart in ministry. Yeah. Okay, so we're smart enough to be like, if if we can't afford it, we're not going to do it. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. that's how we got to go to sleep good at night. And if people don't want to give to us after our hard work <laughs> that we're doing out of love, you know what yeah. I'm saying? That's not that's not our that business. That's the will of God. Yeah, that's just the you will know, of God. And guess what? God. God has always helped us at the end of it all. When we um, spent our own money in conferences, you know, for some reason, God always come yeah. and bless us mightily. Yes. He always do it. He always opened doors for us. Uh, since he sent you, he will always be yes. there. He will always provide. He will always send people to our work. So you got to do it with your whole heart. Yeah. I'm telling you, you do ministry with your whole heart. And don't worry about money. I'm telling you, God will do it. And we are a living testimony. Yeah. We're a living testimony. We have yeah. given our last to do conferences. Yeah. We have. We've been there. And God always made a way. Always. He always made a way. Amen. I love you guys. Love you. Bye, you. Bye-bye.